Good morning, everybody. This is Tom here. I'm trying to build a botanical garden, a zoo, an aquarium with just me and a couple of my employees. I have to work a full-time job during the day, and we do this afternoons, and we do this weekends. The first animal I got were tropical fish. I wanted to get big, Jurassic, big, predatorial tropical fish and they needed big tanks. They needed 500 gallon tanks. So I bought from an aquaculture company a whole bunch of these great big 700 gallon aquaculture tanks. Great for growing the fish, but unfortunately you can't see them very good. We put a GoPro in the water and that's how we view our fish. I'm trying to come up a way with getting a whole bunch of 1,000 gallon tanks that we can see into. When you enter into the aquarium, you enter into a different world. So tranquil, so peaceful. Someday I'm gonna have a pond where I can swim with my fish. It will be a heated pond, and I will escape into the Amazon from Apopka, Florida. These great, big, majestic beauties allow you to escape into another world. Very shortly, we're gonna have to turn the aquarium heaters on because the water temperature is down to 73 degrees as we approach November 1st. That Paraiba is amazing. Those whiskers are about two feet long. That that catfish is about 14 inches, and with those whisk those whiskers are about two feet long. That's a phantom red-tailed cat in the foreground. And I collect all different unusual tiger shovel noses. Some have spots, some have stripes. That's a marble acara in the foreground. This is the lynx catfish. Almost impossible to keep in a small aquarium, but I find it fairly easy to keep them in these large circular aquariums. They are found in fast moving, well oxygenated waters in river channels, and I do not overload the tanks. If you see all my tanks, I only have a few fish per tank, and many fish thrive under these conditions. This is the oldest and largest arowana I have. I, um, I bought it for $200 and they said it was old and kind of beat up. I believe it is a full 36 inches long, maybe longer. I have prune sharks in both circular tanks and rectangular tanks, and I generally find they swim four times as much in the circular tank as they do in the rectangular tank. This is an albino wells catfish. They grow to about four feet long, and this comes from the Yangtze River in China. I really don't have a favorite fish, but these 18-inch Jarens catfish, maybe, if I have to pick one, maybe I would pick these. These are 18 inches long. I had them for a couple of years. They seem to be very rare on the market. Today, I'm working in this building in here. I need to put the plastic in the top and the, and the window in the top too, one more. The people says nobody here. I work it only for myself.
Look at this. I'm nobody happy for move the letter. I need to do it for myself. There's dangers in here. You see, supposed to hold the fix of that one. Look at it, almost down. It's broken again. Is everywhere else safe to stand? That's looking good. That's looking good. So this right here is a pie spiny iguana that I got. One of the viewers, um, it was I half purchased it, half gifted to me. We're working on a larger enclosure for him. I'm hoping to have that done for Monday. So this is a little animal cage I bought on Amazon. It's basically six feet wide by six feet high by I think about 30. And we built here a, a, a bottom for it because it had no bottom. We built a bottom out of two by sixes. And I think the trick is, I, I, I heard that in the Florida weather, these may only last six months or two years, up two, I'm open two, three years. I'm gonna paint this with an exterior latex paint. And like I said, we built a two by, a two by six frame for it. So it's not on the ground, it's sitting on a two by six frame. And hopefully we can put the spiny iguana in here on Monday. I started building this garden in the year 2021. Now we're up to nine acres. We have several waterfalls throughout the property. But now we're learning all about reptiles and amphibians and how plants work with reptiles and amphibians. So here we are building all different types of reptile and amphibian enclosures inside of greenhouses. We currently have outdoor tortoise exhibits for several different types of tortoises, including leopard tortoises, cicada tortoises, and red-footed tortoises. And red-footed tortoises are what we're gonna be working with today. Here I am going through my greenhouse looking for plants for the red-footed tortoise exhibit. The first plant we're going to look at here is a succulent, Portulacaria. Here we are getting some bananas, some dwarf Cavendish bananas. Um, Maria, is this for you? Ask Maria, can I have this or does she want this? Dice que si se puede llevar eso. <laughs> she said okay? That's fine. Okay, yeah. here. This here is mulberry. And this is a golden sedum. Along with a gray sedum. Let's load everything in the pickup truck and get to work.
How do we make this look beautiful, Caesar? <laughs> well, did you bring some plants? Did you bring some rocks? Maybe you put the rocks, maybe you don't decide to put plants. Everything is full, maybe for the rocks. We gotta put plants. See, you know, but there's a lot of rocks in here. We're in the plant business. <laughs> well. Hey, you wanna fill this in a tiny bit, Caesar? Like, just make that look pretty over here? Yeah, for a while. They use that one for what, for the, the turtle? The turtle goes and hides in there, but just put some, put a little dirt in the bottom. The banana, you put it for the, for the, make it more shade or? Yeah, a little bit, shade and also make it look more pretty. Here, give me the, um, how about the figs? Get two nice ones. Those good. This guy here seems to be okay. one of, this guy here cool. wants to be in the middle of everything. Every time I bring a plant in here, he always wants to run all over the place. Doing. I'm making a hole for the turtle, but it's too small for the turtle. Let me see. See? See, the turtle is ready to go all the way, but I don't have nothing for go for the other side. Think he likes it? See? Running out. You bring some more and more and more. I need to go home. I'm tired. I need to finish that one. This is the last one, right? Yeah, yeah, we gotta get some height. So we got two tall dwarf Cavendish bananas. Maybe we'll put the tall one there and the shorter one there. And then I got. Maybe there's not too much room for the back for that one. I know. That's necessary you put in the pot on the, or you put in the back.
Can we move everything up one foot? Man, I already fixed the house and the bottle. Well, let's see. Let's see. Macho ferns safe for tortoise. Okay. Right there? That's, yep. Do you see that you put plants? So I don't need too much water. And some plants I need more water. These kind of plants don't need too much water. No, I think they'll be okay though. Well. Just a minute, man. Hey, it's a lot of busy now, man. Okay? I'll call later. Okay, man. Let's see if I can get these tortoises to stop eating the mulberries and eat some of this yellow squash. I have plenty of plants in the greenhouse, but I just would like them to last more than one day. We have some Dwarf Cavendish bananas in the back. I got a little stand here of Dwarf Cavendish bananas. I got another stand over here. I got some of my surplus universal rock. There's lots of cave for the tortoises to hide. This right here is pineapple guava. This on the right in the left are hardy fig plants. This is a mulberry over here. Then we have a succulent here, Portulacaria. And that's my little planting for today. Again, it's not, it's not fantastic, but it's a start there. We will see you next week, and don't forget to like and subscribe.